Hey guys, even here, so Spain Pro M Pro Cup, this turned out to be a really freaking good show. We got a couple of big names and a lot of new young up and comers who are looking amazing. So the lineup is actually very deep, it's very competitive. Again, not the most popular guys, but we got some stars. Let's say Mikhail Krizo first. We're gonna start with his posing routine uh, so we get an idea of what he brought to this stage. And I gotta say, I think this is his best package of all time that we ever saw on a stage like his conditioning i don't think it was ever this good before his tan is also very good his posing and stage presentation is also very good and i think he i think he improved his physique overall i think his quads are looking better i think his abs are looking amazing i mean just the maturity of the muscle the, the separation the, the 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 3d i mean he just looks amazing he looks crazy and yeah i think he's winning this show but like I said, I think he is winning this show. It might be Andrea Presti who takes this win because in some poses, especially from the front, I think he looks more dominant, more impressive, bigger. Right here you can see what is most likely going to be your top 6, I'm not sure about that Jose guy, that kid that I mentioned in my previous video, he might be in the top 6, we'll see, but this is most likely your, st your top 6. And these two guys are in the middle of it for a reason, because they are top two. And I expected this, I predicted this, only I have Patrick Launcher in third because he's from Balkans, from Croatia, but I don't think he's gonna make it. Alright, let's take a look at the video. So here you can see more clearly what exactly is going on. Once again, I think Rizzo is winning, but it's close, man, I'm not so sure. It might very well be Andrea Presti. We'll see. Now, the problem with Chris's physique in my previous videos, uh, in the updates, I thought it was gonna be his glutes, but actually on the stage, as I said, it's not as bad as I expected it to be. Here you can see Chris's conditioning, it was never this good, but look at Presti, man, he's actually bigger. And uh, he is just as, or even more conditioned, really. I'm really not sure who's gonna take this one, I'm sure the judges can see much more clearly because of course they are there in person and I heard from some people who are over there watching the show that it's actually pretty close between Krizo and Presti. So both of these guys really brought it, I mean Krizo is a superstar, so maybe that's gonna affect the decision who's gonna win this, I mean it's a human factor, maybe the judges are paying more attention to him, but if it's actually not that close, if Presti is actually better, I'm sure the judges will see that and they will award him for that and he's gonna win the show. So based on what I'm seeing in all these videos and photos, I think it could go either way, I still do have Krizo as my favorite because of his shape, because of his structure, because of a couple of poses that are super dominant and because of the fact that he brought a really good package, he really improved on his physique. Like the best conditioning so far, the best standing, the best presentation, but how much does that really mean? If Andrea Prest is better, he is simply better, so maybe he's gonna win this show. On the far left you can see Roman Fritz. So let's take a quick look at him, let's see what he brought to this stage and also, like Rizzo, I think this is his best package up to date. I don't think he was ever this big and full with this conditioning, like his conditioning is spot on, I mean he's shredded, he does not need to be any more shredded than this, check out the glutes and the hamstrings man, like he is peeled. And he's like 270 at this show, so he's big, he's big and he's heavy and he's really shredded and he improved. Is that enough to beat some guys? This is actually the battle for that fifth spot. Can he beat these two guys and, you know, take that fifth? I don't think so, I don't see it. I think it's gonna be Petr Kluncher who wins that fifth spot, he's the guy on the right, he's the Croatian guy, the guy in the middle, Jose, also looked amazing, but in the callouts he wasn't in the second callout, so he is not supposed to be in that top six, that should be either Roman or Petr, but these guys also got a callout, so I believe there are gonna be some changes until the finals, and I'm pretty sure this guy actually has a really good chance of cracking that top six. I mean, he did brought a really good package, lately there are so many new young guys, I mean, breaking through the ranks and really showcasing crazy, crazy development, a lot of muscle for their age, I believe this guy is around 24, so for his 
23 or 24, so for his age, he is freaking massive. There is definitely a bright future ahead of him. Uh, can he be in top 6 at this show? I think it's very possible for him to uh, beat Roman Fritz. So I believe Roman is going to be either 6th or 7th. Here is the other youngster. I mean, this guy is actually 21. <laughs> and he's probably going to be 3rd. He has some flaws, but he has some really strong points like his back. His back is really something. Like, look at his back. Look at his back. It's a really developed and really shredded and detailed back. I mean, you can see every single muscle on that back. Also, glutes are in shape, hamstrings too. Look at this. Like, he brought it. Again, 20 freaking 1 years old. And yeah, I think this guy is going to be uh, third... Uh, his quads from the front are kind of flat. I don't think he has the best uh, lateralis, the, later, the, the outer sweep, lateral head. And in the most muscular, also the way he's doing this crab pose, he looks smaller than the other guys. But still, conditioning and back and a couple of other things, I think it's going to be enough for him to take that third spot. Andrea Presti. I don't know, man. If this guy ends up in second, it's gonna. a lot of people are going to say it was a robbery. A lot of Italians are going to be like... Crisio won because of his name, because it is extremely close, I hope the judges will make the right decision, I hope Crisio's name is not gonna affect them, because Andrea really brought it, I think, I'm sure this is his best package up to date, and this package deserves to go to the Mr. Olympia, look at his, look at his back double bicep, man, nasty, nasty, conditioning everywhere, lower body, upper body, Christmas tree, look at this, Look at the dryness, look at the size, I mean, this is perfect peak. Whew, honestly, guys, at this point, I, I gotta say, I think Andrea is winning. I know, I know how Krizio is popular and who he is and everything, but, I mean, if I'm being objecti objective, if I'm being honest, I think this guy did more. I think this guy is winning this. As you can see later, they moved Krizio and Presti to the sides to compare the other two guys for the third and fourth. But I'm pretty sure the judges already made the decision about the winner of this show. Whether it's going to be Crisio or Presti, we're going to find out soon enough, later tonight. But personally, at this point, honestly, I would rather bet on Presti. I think his physique is just better. As far as the second call-out, who's going to end up at the top of it? You guys tell me. Is it going to be Roman Fritz? Is it going to be the new guy, Jose? Or is it going to be the best Balkan bodybuilder, Petr Klancher? Personally, I don't think I'm being biased when I say this. I think Petr is going to end up in the top of this. The guy on the right. I think he's the most complete here. Uh, I was hoping he's going to be, you know, top three or win the show. But uh, based on what I'm seeing, I don't think he has it. Like, I think this is his best package up to date. Or maybe it was 2016 Iron Classic Europe, I'm not sure. But I think he was really conditioned uh, for this show. I think his legs suffered because of that. I think his legs were a little bit smaller than usual. But there are some flaws about his physique that he can't really change. Like those super high lats and a really long torso, uh, similar to Nathan Diasha. Also his back, I think it was really improved at this show, but it's still not the best back ever. So because of these structural flaws, they're gonna hold him back. But if he really, really worked on improving these weaknesses, for example, if he got his legs much thicker than they are, and he really worked on his lower lats, and uh, he learned how to pose to hide uh, this imbalance in structure, maybe one day somehow he would manage and win a pro show somewhere and qualify for the Mr. Olympia by doing that. But, you know, it's not gonna be easy, for sure. Anyways, guys, make sure to leave the comments down below and let me know who do you think is going to win this show, Presti or Krizo. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to support me, you can subscribe, but also you can check out the link in the description of this video, which is going to take you to the Old School Labs website where you can order any of the supplements you need. And I'm telling you, they have the best supplements on the market right now. You will like everything, whatever you try. If you don't like it, you can get your money back. And if you use the code EVAN, my code, you get a 15% discount and I get my percent, my commission. So that is how you can support me and this channel if you want me to keep making this awesome content for you guys. Thank you so much, guys, for all your support. All the best and bye-bye.